Welcome back to another broadcast, an update from the Farm Bureau Convention that's going on, the LEAP Conference, which is Leadership, Education, Advocacy, and Promotion. Jim Bartles here for Ingstead Minnesota Radio Network, along with Dan Glessing, Dan, President, Minnesota Farm Bureau, a little over a year now. Dan, let's talk a little bit about the uh, governor's budget. Governor Waltz came out with a number of things. I know I saw a press release on items that uh, you looked at and some of your reactions. So kind of cover a little bit about what you see on the budget from the governor. Well, certainly glad to see in, the, in that budget rollout that, that agriculture wasn't forgotten. Uh, granted, it's a, it's a sizable budget, but uh, agriculture had some, some good wins in there, at least from our Farm Bureau standpoint, uh, biofuels infrastructure grants available. That's something that we've been advocating for. Uh, if we can make that move to E15, We'll have that the ability to basically take tens of thousands of cars off the road uh, tomorrow. And the infrastructure, for the most part, is there. Uh, this just helps with some of those older tanks uh, to be compatible. Uh, another thing is the soil health and, and some grants within the soil health program that was rolled out last year. Uh, being able to, to help those farmers equip themselves to put that, that, those uh, practices into use. And um, so that was, we were glad to see that some uh, you know whether it's the the health rural mental health type activities um, we're a big advocate for that uh, it's it's sad that that farmers are at a higher rate of suicide than the general population because it's just you need to get over the stigma number one but number two it's okay to not be okay and, and make those calls so we're glad to see that was in there um, and some agri funding there's a lot of uh, low interest loans and, and grants within that program that that really help uh, new businesses getting started, and, and uh, it's it's good to see that, that that those were in there. Dan, let's uh, talk a little bit about the farm bill because that's this is farm bill year uh, up at the the hill in Washington D.C. Where's that heading? What kind of action do you see happening? Well, quite honestly, the discussions we've had, and we were out there in December. Uh, it sounds like you know it's a bipartisan approach, and, and fortunately. The Ag Committee has typically been pretty bipartisan. They don't, they don't worry too much about uh, whether it's a, a D or an R behind the name. Uh, it's more of let's feed, let's feed these folks and keep farmers farming. Um, but, you know, going into the Farm Bill, some of our priorities is to keep crop insurance, uh, not linking conservation measures to that uh, crop protection. Uh, you know, the argument, it's such a regional, regional approach. Uh, soils vary within Minnesota. Not to mention across the, across the nation, so um, to to try and blanket <clears throat> conservation measures wouldn't be a good thing. Uh, other things within Farm Bill, uh, the DMC program has been a good program. Maybe freshening those numbers up uh, because you know our our cost of productions have have skyrocketed really, and and so freshening up those numbers, and then some flexibility within conservation programs. If you're an early adapter of a certain practice. It didn't work on your farm, and you're in a three, five-year contract, whatever it is. Let's sw be able to switch it up so that you're not in breach of contract and uh, have have the desired effect on that landscape that that you signed up for. Good update from Dan Glessing, President, of Minnesota Farm Bureau. It's been a good conference up here, the Leap Conference. Uh, very solid. I think people are really enjoying and getting the good benefits out of it too. Yeah, it's it, you know our promotion and education and young farmer rancher committee put it together. And uh, I think that it did a, a great job, a great crowd, smiles on faces, and, and great interaction. And that's that's what we need with an agriculture. I just I really enjoy it, and, and uh, glad to see it's it's going so well. Dan Glessing with us, President of Minnesota Farm Bureau from the Leap Conference at Grand Casino, Hinkley. Jim Bartles reporting.